Hello everyone and welcome to a new video. Today we'll cover 21 features in Microsoft Edge. Since Microsoft moved to a Chromium based web browser and Edge has become faster and a better alternative to Google Chrome. And today we'll cover 21 useful features in Microsoft Edge that you should know. So without further ado, let's get started. The first feature on our list is sidebar search. You can highlight any text on your web page. Then click on search in sidebar, which will open a side tab that you can use to browse and search for your term. So you won't have to copy the text and open a new tab to paste and search for your content. A simple yet useful feature in Microsoft Edge. The only problem is that you can only use Bing as your search engine. And of course, if you wanna search in a full tab, you can click on open in a new tab. And the next feature on our list is the ability to add group tabs. Simply right click on any tab, then select add tab to a new group. You can name the group. This is a nice feature to browse and organize your, your group tabs. Google Chrome does include a similar feature, but what's different with the Microsoft Edge is to enable vertical tabs, which will allow you to browse your tabs from the left side, which will make it easier to expand and organize and of course browse your group tabs. Personally, I prefer using tabs from the top of the web browser, but it's still a nice feature to have. And the next feature on our list is immersive reader. You can read any article in a separate window without any ads. And of course, you can edit the text size, text font, and also change the page theme. You also have some extra grammar tools to highlight nouns, verbs, adjectives, and adverbs. You can also translate the web page to a different language if you want. There is also a read aloud feature which we will cover in this video. Another way that I prefer using the immersive reader is if there is a web page that doesn't allow you to highlight or copy any text. You can simply open the web page in the immersive reader and highlight and copy any text you want. Another great feature is the PDF viewer. You can fetch the PDF file into the full web browser page. You can also change the page view to two pages. You can add text to the PDF file, draw in the PDF file, and of course highlight any text you want and save the edited version of the PDF file to your computer. And if you're looking for a free software to edit PDF files, I previously made a video about the best free PDF editors in Windows. The link will be in the description below. And the next feature in Microsoft Edge is collections. You can organize your web pages, videos, and photos into collections. And once you create any new collection, you can add web pages. You can highlight text and edit your collection. You can add photos and you can also add a video to your collections. Google Chrome does include a similar feature called reading list, but personally I prefer using collections, which is a better and a more useful feature to organize and collect your thoughts and the resources. And the next feature is the ability to turn any web page into an app. From app, click on install this site as an app. You can pin your newly created app to your taskbar and start menu, and you can browse it and use it into a separate window. And to remove it from apps, you can click on manage apps, then remove it if you want. And the next feature is web capture. You can click on web capture or use the shortcut control shift s. You can capture a selected area or you can capture full page. This is a feature that you will find in most web browsers, but it's still an essential feature to have. You can save the screenshot to your computer. You can also edit your collections. And the next feature is add-ons. Of course, you can add extensions from Edge add-on store. But since Edge is built on Chromium, 
You can also add extensions from the Chrome Web Store. Simply enable allow extensions from other stores, then click Chrome Web Store. Now we can browse and add any extension from the Chrome Web Store. If you're interested, I previously covered extensions for Microsoft Edge and Google Chrome. All the links will be in the description. And now let's check some privacy features in Microsoft Edge. From privacy and security, there are a lot of great built-in features for security and privacy. You can select your tracking, prevention, basic, balanced or strict. And you can also enable the option to automatically clean history, cookies and cache every time you close the web browser. And another great feature is the ability to enable a custom DNS provider. There are a lot of great ones like OpenDNS, Cloudflare and Google DNS. There is also a great one which will filter any unwanted content. For example, I will select Cloudflare. And another great feature is password protection. From profiles, you can click on passwords and you can enable this option. So Edge will alert you if any of your passwords is compromised. Google Chrome does include a similar feature. But personally, I prefer using password managers like LastPass and Bitchwarden, which are a better option to protect your passwords than saving them to your web browser. And I will make a video about the best free password management extensions. So don't forget to subscribe so you won't miss that video. And now let's cover some performance features from system and performance. We have two great features that you should enable. The first one is fade sleeping tabs, which will put inactive tabs into sleep after a specific period of time. This is a really useful feature if you open a lot of tabs or if you have less than 8 gigabytes of RAM and you can set your specified time like 30 minutes, 1 hour or more. And if there are any tabs that are essential for you, you can exclude them by adding the URL here. And if you're using a laptop, another great feature that you should enable is efficiency mode, which is a great way to save power and save battery. And if you're facing any performance problems, you can disable this option, which will prevent Microsoft Edge from running in the background. And the next feature on our list is text allowed. You can simply highlight any text, right click, then select read aloud selection. We have been philosophers, both as a subject matter and an activity. A great text to speech feature included in Microsoft Edge. But what's amazing is the number of supported languages and accents. E -T -W -T -H. There are a lot of great text to speech tools out there for English. But for other languages, this is the best free one that I ever used. And the next one is ability to add multiple profiles. You can create and add multiple profiles, each one for a different use case or for a different user. But what's amazing is the ability to add a kid mode, which is a great way for kids to browse the web in a kid friendly content. If there are multiple users to the computer, a better option is to create multiple accounts in your Windows 11. I previously covered how to create a local account. The link will be in the description. And to keep this video in a watchable length, we will cover the rest of the features quickly. A great one is QR code. To generate a QR code for any web page, a match solver. You can select and solve any math problem using Microsoft Edge. Another great feature is to find coupons to save money while you're shopping. And one of my favorite features is the new tab options where you will find your search engine, your most used websites and content related to your location. You can customize the settings. however you want. 
And the final and the most important feature is the overall performance. I never liked the previous Microsoft Edge, but the new Chromium version is fast and responsive. And overall, the performance is amazing and there are lots of great features. When Microsoft announced that they will move to Chromium based web browser, I thought that it will be just another copy of Google Chrome with few features that will interest some users but it will never be a true competitor to Google Chrome but so far this browser is amazing with a lot of features that could make you use it as your main web browser this is not your quickest way to download the latest Google Chrome version anymore this is a true competitor to Google Chrome and one of the best web browsers that you can use right now the only problem I have with Microsoft Edge is privacy concerns it's secure but it's not completely private since there are lots of belt chain settings to collect user data I'm sure that Microsoft doing her best to prevent you from having a personal and private experience if you used Microsoft Edge let me know your opinion about this browser what you like and what you don't like about it and if you think that it's a great competitor to Google Chrome and of course if this video was useful a like will be appreciated and don't forget to subscribe for more useful videos until next time bye